like I said, I had to go to the top of the hill. Then, I, as I walked on, I had to wipe the mud and the yuck out of my eyes. I looked in front of me. It's all briar bushes. No way of getting around that. I had to go through it. So I, I scooted and contort my body through those briars. And not only did I contort my body and get through the briars, I got pricked and stuck. And there was nothing I could do about it. I had to go through it. So I went on, I pressed on, picked the picked the briars that was in me out, went on and kept walking. As I kept walking, I got I was about at the middle of the hill now. The hill started getting steeper. Steeper as I w walked on. And I looked, and there was a big boulder in front of me like a big huge rock. So I had to jump, jump to get up on that rock and climb and move my way and get over it. And whenever I got over that rock, I looked and it was a 90 degree slope. I was thinking, how am I gonna ever get to the top of this hill? So what did I do? I took it upon myself to try to climb the hill and I would just slide back down and I would climb and slide back down because it was too steep to climb on my own. So in all that, I turned around. Whenever I turned around, I took a minute or two to look back. And that's why we mess up at BJ. We look we look back at the stuff we've done. The stuff we've went through. The mess. The trial. The, a lot of people look back at the mess. They don't look at the triumph. We need to be celebrating. Like that verse I read you. We need to celebrate. And... So I, I turned around, I was looking down the hill, all the stuff, the mud, I could see why I slid. I, I knew I got back up, and I'd seen the briars, I went through them. And I seen all the stuff I went through, and it didn't do nothing but get me down even more. So I turned back around, looked at the hill. That big steep 90 degree slope hill and what did I have left to do I knew I wasn't going to get on it so I tried climbing it one more time I even hauled back and took off running slid, fell and when I landed <coughs> landed on my knees that's what we need to do is drop to our knees and pray, press on. And that's where a lot of people fail is at the hardest in their life. When it gets the hardest in their life, they don't praise. They remain. They remain where they're at. Some of them actually doesn't remain where they're at. They look back. They don't, it's like climbing stairs. They don't want to take one step forward. They either want to stay where they're at or take a step back. They're, they're never going to reach the ultimate goal of where they're supposed to be. And I know you know what I'm talking about, BJ, but I'm going to get back to this hiking story. Like I said, I was at almost the top of the hill, 90 degree slope. When all else hope, me worried not wanting to go back down the hill through all that stuff the briars the mud the mud puddles water rock the rocks that i had to climb over jump up on and i don't i didn't want to go back through that to get all the way back to the bottom of the hill
so wretch down and I grabbed I grabbed a vine and I looked up at the top of the hill and I seen a tree and I grabbed hold of that tree I grabbed hold of that tree vine and I wrapped it around my hand and as I was walking up the hill I would wrap it around my hands and it was helping me it it I looked up and seen the tree it was coming from and I climbed all the way to the top using that vine and whenever I was at the top of the hill standing on level ground beside the tree the vine was hooked to I dropped the vine And that vine is Jesus Christ. Not only is he that vine, he is not only resident, but he should be president in your life. He should be everything. And I BJ, I know he is. And I pray for you, son. I'm not going to be there Sunday, but I pray. I pray that you are set ablaze. I pray you take this, you take the ball, I'm passing you the ball, you run with it, son. I know he's going to do an awesome work Sunday, I'm not going to be there. And BJ, when I dropped that vine, I realized it's, it's not really... On the level playing grounds, when your life's at, at the easiest, it's when you go through the trials that you get stronger. And you won't make it without his help. You can try, but you'll never succeed. And that's the moral of the story, is celebrate, BJ, be happy. And that thing that you told the church Sunday that you were sorry about, I don't know what it is and don't want to know what it is. Lord knows what it is. But BJ, celebrate. And like I said, you about to be set on blaze because when gas gets poured on fire it not only burns but it gets set ablaze so bj be that voice that jesus puts right here in your head and you get it from right here you get it from the word and it goes from your head to your heart and out of your mouth and it goes to the church and i'm not talking about the four corners of elevate but elevate elevators are gonna come it's gonna be awesome bj like i said i'm not gonna be there sunday but i felt led to tell you this me and tiff love you jesus loves you god bless you god bless Kristen. god bless missy bobby your whole family from me, Tiff, and our whole family. We love y'all, BJ. God bless you, man.